Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, <laughs> we're going to be working with parts of the Best There Is May 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit to make a few alternates. We're also going to be using the Hooray for Surprises stamp set and the Wildflower Designs bundle. So we're going to be using the stamps as well as the dies. Well, I've already gone ahead and die cut, but these are the dies that I used, okay? So before we get started on our project, of course we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. So I don't have the current paper pumpkin um, printout, but I'll have that linked to my blog post, all right? Um, we're gonna start with the mystery boxes. These are the medium flat rate USPS boxes that I have stuffed full of new and used all retired Stampin' Up! product. I'm asking for $30 each for the boxes shipping is included and i can only sell and mail these boxes in the united states if you're interested email me at stampwithshauna at gmail.com because i would love to send out a box of goodies to you next up is our host code for the month this is the code i want you to use whenever you're placing an order with me unless your order is 150 dollars or more don't use this host code because you're going to qualify for stamping rewards and stamping rewards equals free product from stamp it up and i don't want you to miss out on any of your freebies Lastly, we have our June special. We have um, an extra 10% off of stamp and die bundles. So whenever you bundle these products together, you already save 10%. But on top of that, they're gonna give you an extra 10% off the die and stamp bundles only. And as an added bonus, just in case you don't have a stamp and cut and emboss machine, those are 10% off as well. So you can get the large one or the two minis, the boho blue or the white. 10% off on all the stamp and die cut machines, 10% off on stamp and die bundles, okay? That is all of our buzzworthy business for today. So let's get started on our projects because we have two to do and I'm gonna start with one of the most simple, the simplest one and I'm looking for my ruler because again, I did not measure these things, I just cut them. So this is a part of the envelope and this is five and a quarter by four, I guess. Yep, this is five and a quarter. That can't be right, is it? Yes, it's five and a quarter by four. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and glue this to a card base of Early Espresso that is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So again, this is part of the envelopes that come in the stamps, um, not the stamp set, <laughs> the paper pumpkin kit. Okay, so we have that. Now I took, let me see if I can find it. This is the original card that, um, one of the cards that was made in the paper pumpkin kit. And I took this layer here and I used the die from the Wildflower Designs dies and cut this out. So we are going to glue this onto our card front. Now this die cuts out a frame as well as an inner piece. And we're gonna be using that inner piece on the next card, okay? So we're just gonna put that on there like that. Did I not get glue right here? I did. Okay, this is a very simple card. This piece here was also from the same card layer, but I cut this piece out using the, um, Thanks and Beyond dies that coordinate with this paper pumpkin kit. So let me show you, because these cute little dies. So I use this label here. And I am going to, am I gonna pop this up? I think I am. I think I'm popping that up. So before I do that, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. So I have a sentiment label from the kit and we're gonna um, stamp what is it called make a wish yeah make a wish not that's not what it's called that's what it says <laughs> we're gonna stamp that right here in the middle Ooh, my wrist is hurting me it's a kind of low but i'm gonna leave it so we're gonna glue that onto here and then we're gonna pop this whole thing up this one was, was a quick and simple um card i didn't want to do too much 
because not everybody likes to do a lot. So I didn't want to do too much. So let's just pop this up and put it on our card. Let's go ahead and take these backings off. We're just going to sit this right here in the middle of that, just like that. And then and then we're going to get the neutrals, adhesive back dots. And we're going to get a few of these in the brown. And put on our card to juice it up a little bit. Just to juice it up a little bit. Oh, come on. There we go. So that's that card. Let me see. I know stamping my personalized stamp on the back in Early Espresso on Early Espresso is hard to see, but it'll be there. So that card is done. Isn't that cute? I like that. It's simple, but I like it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So the next one is going to be a shaker card. That still has a, a card base of early espresso, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my personalized logo on the back of there, my personalized stamp on the back. Then we have a piece of Misty Moonlight. This is five and an eighth by three and a half. Okay. So I'm thinking, this is part of the envelope. This is five and an eighth, five by three and an eighth, I think. Yeah, because that was three quarter, three and a half. I'm not even sure. I just measured it and I'm not sure. So this again is part of the envelope and we're gonna layer these two pieces together. Oh, and I didn't mean to do that. Mm. I didn't want to layer it yet, but I guess it doesn't matter because this is the only piece I have. Okay, <laughs> but I will take the piece that I told you this cut out of here and then that middle piece cut out of there. So we, using all the pieces, we're going to put this on right here, just a second like this. And we're going to get our stamp from the uh, Wildflower Design stamp set. We're gonna ink that up in the Early Espresso. And we're gonna stamp that down right there. Just like that, okay? It says, you've been on my mind. And now we are done with the ink. Yes, that's all of our stamping done. So now we're gonna go ahead and glue this to our card base. Oh, Lordy. I think I got the glue on the opposite side. Doing a little too much too fast. Slow it down. Okay, so that's going to go on there like that. So now this is going to be a shaker. I've already gone ahead and put some tear and tape on the back of this. So let's take the backing off. The tear and tape adhesive, it's a double-sided adhesive that is flat, but it's very strong. And I'm using this because we're gonna glue down our window sheet. And I just um, got a piece of rectangle window sheet and placed it on here and cut it down to fit. There's no dies or anything. I just cut it with scissors. Okay, I just put some glue on the back of that window sheet. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so we have that done. So now I'm going to get some phone adhesive strips and we are going to release in the backing because it's easier to manipulate it when you have to turn corners. So I'm putting this pretty close to the inside edge. That way our shaker bits won't have uh, a lot of space to try to fill up 
unnecessarily because we don't want it way down like in these spots because you're not going to be able to see it so there's no point in having it there and look at that it went perfectly around here i thought i was going to have to cut another piece and we actually have too much so there we go okay so that part is done so now we're going to get our shaker bits now <clears throat> what i'm using is retired i do believe they are the loose silver sequence Ooh. because it's a neutral color i did not get rid of these because i can use them for a lot of things because they'll coordinate with a lot of things so i don't want to put too much in here because it's a small space I think that should be enough. I'm going to even take some out because we just want a little bit of shaker. So just use whatever shaker little sequence or little things you have to, um, you know, embellish your shaker with. So let's go ahead and put this right here over our sentiment and our little sequence. And that's our shakers. Look at that. That's pretty cute. Oh, I love that. I love making shakers. Okay, so I think I want to glue some of these sequins. I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put one right here and maybe two up there. So let me get my take your pick tool. Open these back up. I'm going to use the putty in. I'm going to get some sequins out of here. Trying to flip that over. I'll put that right there. This one right there. And I'm not worrying about that glue showing because our glue does um, dry clear. I'm looking for a silver one. A medium sized silver one. I think I got a clear one still, but that's okay. <laughs> there we go. Now that is that card done. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna have to clean that glue off. I think the glue is on the outside, but that's cute. I love it. So these are our two cards for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later.